ブリュンブリュンはい、that's looking good hello everyone, it's a new episode and I fucking did it <laughs> didn't even have to use my free free to identity assured extraction well, looks like we're gonna level up the pack of the Hopunia uh, I sure he's freaking overpowered. I guess you need to build a team around him so he gets the Envy Resonance. Uh, actually, let's not use him today. Tell me which teams I'm supposed to be using with him because I guess I can't be bothered to think about it myself. Shut up, Ishmael. Instead, we're just gonna continue with the story. Oh, they updated shit again, didn't they? There was something about the backdoor volatility again, which I to be honest, I... Oh, all right. They added the mini episodes uh, to like this, which I guess puts them into perspective as to when they really occur for a player that starts now, basically. Um, I'm going to have to to record all of these sooner or later. I, I'm just not a fan of these mini episodes, to be honest. I don't know. I don't even know why. I couldn't be able... I wouldn't... Oh, shit. I used up all of my... Wait a second. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you why I don't like it. It's, it's really weird. It's just, it feels so out of place when it happens. It, usually they happen when you start up the game as well. And I know you can go back and reread them, but when I start up the game and I'm not in the mood to actually record or play properly, I, I just want to log in to get my dailies done and be done with it. Sounds like a me problem, I know. 516, pirates. We have to make our way to the Lobotomy Corp branch based on the variable coordinates that the pilot gave us. Meanwhile, Ishmael keeps a, keeps nervously checking on the telescope. It doesn't look very dark. But that could be the water. Maybe it's like glowing or something. Also, like shoutouts to Greg for being the only actual sensible person left at this point, I think. Greg has Yon betrayed his confidence. Ishmael didn't care. She wasn't going to move from her station anyway. Ishmael looked like she was waiting for something to happen. Or maybe she was deathly afraid of something. Is she the most broken sinner yet? I mean, everyone has broken down at one point. Oh, Yisang didn't really break down. For him, it was more like... Yisang was just a broken person to begin with, which... Over the course of time, you know, I, I let the chapter sit with me now. It really fit his character, to be honest. Uh, whereas, of course, Gregor, like, with the war PTSD and Sinclair with... Um, uh, with everything just coming back to him and Chroma being like this triggering point in his life and a person that just outright shatters him, right? As much as I hate the word trigger. Um, it is what it is at this stage. And Rodian Reeb, I think Rodian sh shouldered it perfectly. <laughs> she didn't she didn't care too much. She, she was the one that like she, she is like she's taking it on the chin, I can tell you that. Ishmael, however, did not, not even for a second, leave the telescope, courtesy of rain, most likely, installed on a modified Mephistopheles. Asked Otis her thoughts out of curiosity, but she simply replied that Vigilis had already acted upon the matter. If the executive manager would not take action, then that was that. She also explained that while she would not hesitate to clash with Ishmael again, should the need arise, she would not continue this pointless tussle that only lowered the team's morale. Good. Good. Very good. Sensible. Very nice. I guess that's good enough. Is it? Are we about to get boarded? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the rumbling sound is nice. Da, 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 da. A little bit comical, but the rumbling was amazing. 
Ishmael suddenly got up and hurried into the cabins as though she noticed something through the telescope. Uh, thanks, Gregor. <laughs> so, Ishmael, let me ask you right now. You were on the telescope just now and you didn't see it coming until it was too late. So why do you think it changes anything if you're the one on the lookout? Apparently, it... it it is for naught as well. Like, if you can't see them ahead of time, then you might as well let Gregor do it. You know? You stay down here if you think you're better as as a... What's it called? Like a helmsman? When you when you drive the ship? Steer it? Most likely? Yeah, almost as if you antagonized the entire port earlier. Ah, you sure that boarding their ship is the best course of action if we want to save our ship? Okay, I'll leave it to you then. Ow. What a bitch. I sighed with relief as she seemed to be going along with me for now. Because you're bowing to her, Dante. <laughs> with that, I took a few steps behind the other sinners and watched her. Ishman's explanations were rapid and confident. Otis nodded along affirmatively. The other sins were quick to follow their instructions. Watching Ishmael throw a razor sharp harpoon towards the pirate ship, I started to feel something was off. There they were, the sinners working so well together like clockwork. But underneath all that, maybe all that mattered to them was their own goals. I was wondering of all the times I've spent thinking, hoping, and contem contemplating about our futures together were pointless. This thought lingered for a while in my head. Five seventeen pirates too. The Twinook pirates were tailing us. I decided to follow Ishmael's advice and board the ship first before they did ours. The combat slash story stage. Very long ship. It's shape about the spacing of the words, yeah. Never really noticed. Or like uh, two two line names. Yeah, 
So how many pirate stories is this? Oh, <clears throat> so, should sound better now. Sorry, my mic again. Uh, how many pirate stories is this like mixing with each other? We have Captain Hook, which is like Peter Pan. We have Moby Dick with the whale and uh, Ishmael and, and stuff. I guess Queequad was also in Moby Dick. I don't, I've never read it. Sorry. Um, any other pirate stories that, that, I, that I might be missing? Like, otherwise, so far it would be, only be two, which is not that many. It's like literally a pair. Is that like a PG version of Stupid Sons of Bitches? He's having a moment again. <laughs> what if been a nice um like place for, for an actual CG, I think. Like her going around beating these pirates to death. <laughs> Yeah, let's just act as if nothing happened just now, Ishmael. I'm a fan of that. <clears throat> the ship was still a staff. Its sails fluttered a forlorn dance in the winds. 518, the waves. Faust is still talking. And she's still talking. How long is she talking in like the post combat summary screen? <laughs> Um, 518. We defeated the pirates, but I can't shake this uneasy feeling. Well, no choice but to continue our voyage while minding the laws of the Great Lake. So, something's been bothering me. Wasn't it weird how they all seemed so certain? Uh, uh, if we kept going this way, uh, we'd run into some, hu uh, some other huge disaster. What's happening with the nameplate? Why is it so dark on the side? Was it always like that? Am I only just now noticing? Am I going crazy? Like, uh, like is Ishmael rubbing off on me or something? Tukiyotsu <laughs> Yeah, as long as there's no sun, Mersault has really good eyesight, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> What's 
Was it time to find the mermaids finally? Hmm. Let's continue our journey to the Lobotomy Corp branch with the variable coordinates Pilot gave us. Paranoia of the unknown weighing heavily on our shoulders. After an indeterminate amount of time. Otis, Otis was looking out ahead from the bow of the ship with the round. But her first set seemed to have hit her unexpectedly. You know, I think I, I never really wondered too much about it in the world of like the city is how did these things came to be? Were they always like that? Or is this like a post apocalyptic scenario of like former civilizations have made the world to be like this shit or something? Because we know there's like ruins in the outskirts, right? So maybe maybe all of this is like technological and there are like devices installed in these zones, especially considering that these zones seem to be separated by straight lines, which is something that doesn't really occur in like nature. Um, how how did all of this happen? Not all of it can be explained away by current tech, at least it seems like. So if no one is controlling the Great Lake, is it an actual natural phenomenon? Or did something happen here some time ago and just no one knows it and people had to cope with it? It might be too much to ask to 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 deliver world building like that, like this is the, the famous old what's the tax policy and what do they eat, right? Because you, you'd have to go back really far to see how how, how the community of, of like the city developed. How did they find out these laws? Who first sailed the seas and stuff? And the same with the outskirts. Like how, how did they find out that, that all of this was just a barren wasteland, which is more harmful than good? And... It, it, I, I, why am I thinking of this now? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's very much fitting for what I just going on about. Thank you, Otis. Otis bit her lip with discontent before suddenly turning in my direction. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like, genius plan doesn't sound that smart, to be honest. Well, what is the plan? Can I consult with our, uh, like, in in ship crazy lady please with that oat slowly raised the acceleration lever a fret level, the waves are somewhat low if they're just actual waves. I know they're most likely several meters high, but... It doesn't change anything whether you go in unknowingly or knowingly as long as you can deal with the situation. But... 
심지어 지금처럼 무한한 목숨이 아니던 시기에도 말이지 그건 우리가 충분히 이겨낼 수 있음을 의미한다 더불어 작전 속도의 단축과 관리자님 그리고 소수 졸개가 원했던 구출 확률 증가까지 얻는다 이스마일 너는 우리가 지지부진하던 게영 마음에 들지 않았던 것만 같은데 3일간 일광 건조라도 하고 싶어졌나? Instead of responding to Otis's sarcastic remark, Ishmael squinted in the direction the boat was speeding in. Yeah, we're just gonna dip our toes in Saint Clair. That's right. 다시 돌아간다고요? 이 호수에는 왔던 길로 되돌아간다는 개념이 없단 말이에요. 어떻게 할까요, 단테? Let's try following Otis's plan. 네. This could kill us all, but I don't care. 지정한 호수로 갑니다. 압수사. 오티스 씨, 당신의 생각이 맞아 들어야 할 거예요. I mean, this is this is the most retarded cause of action, <laughs> really. It's not as if the LCCB agent is like guaranteed to be alive if we do this, right? So why? As soon as those words left Ishmael's mouth, it was a flash in the sky. Under? Wait, but the sky was clear just moments ago. How could this? Yeah, it's not as if we're on the Great Lake, Tante. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, that's pretty cool. What's that? Ooh. Oh, this is where the budget went, eh? That's when reality began to sink in. What had happened to? What happens to? And what will happen to everyone and everything that entered this lake without preparation for what's to come? What should... Uh, what do we do now, Ishmael? Oh, now you care about her opinion? A colossal wave rises to its crest before us. Yes, I see. Sinclair, you here? Fuck, it makes me wish the entire game was like that, you know, because that would really spice up the presentation. The Otis knows? I know, yes. She she said that she was seafaring herself before, but was she on the Great Lake or is this just something they tell everyone, no matter where they go, like fishing? <laughs> Uh, going into it with no um, loading screen whatsoever. An abnormality battle, and most likely the last battle we'll have today. Two waves. Um, I'm gonna try just win rating it, but I'm gonna give my commentary because this is new. We have this hand thingy from a bigger entity, and these little, well, like fish sperms or something. I don't know. They they are called whale of the porous hern. They are mermaids. I see it now. Okay. Um, vomit froth, claw, and water jet. Flink, inflink, inflicting sinking. 
Whale of the Porous Hand takes damage when this unit is defeated. Okay. Upon death, deal 10 damage to connected mermaids, then apply 2 damage up next turn. This effect cannot drop the connected mermaids HP below 1, so you, you do actually have to kill them. I don't know the HP of the hand itself, but I guess we're just gonna have to kill them. I mean, they have 116 health. It's not too bad, I would say. And again, as long as we just win every clash, which is just basic principle, um, there's nothing that can happen to us, really. Which one's about to maybe kill one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you one is dead. They now get damage up next turn. But doesn't matter. The second one of them is already down, most likely. Maybe? Not quite. Well, three of them are staggered as well. You're the only one attacking this? No, so we're gonna do this here. You're the only one attacking this? No, so we're gonna do this here. We're gonna conserve um, Heathcliff's ammo. How about that? Huh? I'm doing a st strategic decision. But no one expected that out of this episode. <laughs> or me, for that matter. Um, we're gonna do the same again. We're just gonna... This time we're gonna gonna conserve all of our good skills basically if possible again if possible I don't know which skills are actually good for, for some of these identities because I've only been um, win rating them I'm somewhat concerned about the second wave it must be harder than this yeah here we go there is the Whale of the Porous Hand Soldier Mermaid. Which has a damp strike and a clutch of the waves. Flick sinking and blade and heal by damage dealt. Damage plus 20% per 5 sinking potency on target. And if the target is insane, deals more damage. Um, if attack will shield and inflict sinking on the attacker, it doesn't matter too much. We're just gonna... Um, we're gonna use a little bit of ego. Just right off the bat, just to... Oh yeah, she's even attacking this thing, so that's pretty good. There we go. That was exactly what we needed. The stack of threshold for this thing is incredibly low, so I'm not gonna count on... ...stunning it. But it doesn't really matter, as long as we can bring the others down and hopefully not suffer any damage from it... ...in any way, due to it getting several stacks of... Damage drop, I assume, due to this? Something? I don't know. What's the point of uh, defeating, like, like dealing damage to the hand when we don't see the health and we have to defeat all of these anyway? It seems a little bit like a redundant mechanic, to be honest. Since, well, yeah, I don't know. Or are we gonna have to fight the hand in the end? I don't quite understand. Uh, we're gonna win raid again. That's pretty good, even if we don't have to charge it like that. Actually, almost staggered. Ooh, yeah. Oh, well. Good enough, good enough. I would say. Here we go. It is gonna be staggered now. It's good to conserve if Cliff's ammo. Might die to the next attack. This one's gone. Shim the machine, Nanda. Here we go, are we gonna fight the hand? No, no. Yeah, I guess you guys are not as, like, dull as some people that have played the previous games are. <laughs> The whale of the porous hand. So it's uh, what's it, what's this phobia thing he called? Tryptophobia. Gonna include another image of that one to scare people. Is that one of the whales that we we're talking about at Ucorp? Corp? 
어릴 때본 책에서 읽었던 거와는 너무나 다르게 생겼는데 Where the sexy mermaids at? 인어랑 어릴 때 형이 인어가 그렇게 무섭다며 자기 전에 겁을 주곤 했었는데 그러니까 이런 것들을 잡아서 향수인지 뭔지를 만든단 말이야? 베르 이번에 하면로 좀 도와주지 잊었어? 저 양반 K사에서 우리가 묵사발 당하고 있었을 때도 눈 하나 찌푸리고 구경하고 있었잖아 아 간간히 멀리서 손까지 흔들어주기도 했어요 아마 제 손목이 부러지고 있었을 때라 손을 흔들어드리진 못했지만요 I mean back at K-Corp Vigilius had his colors status to just say I'm, I'm not a part of this you don't want to fuck with me how does he think he's gonna get out of this if we all just get defeated and like even then they get slaughtered? How does... Uh, will Virgilius just go, well, looks like I'm gonna have to get out of this one by myself and then like he steers the ship by himself as well afterwards or what's his play here? Okay. Uh, Interesting. Did he guess what Dante said or did he actually understand? I'm just waiting for that one fight where, where it's like a scripted loss and you go up against an enemy and he just, he just defeats you and then like he steps in and defeats the enemy that would be pretty cool like as a hype moment two previous victims of Virgilius has interjected albeit in hollow voices to re rebut Rodia's rather dangerous remark Oh. Sorry, Virgilius. Guess he's not all that powerful after all. My enter key is more powerful. Alright, we're gonna leave it at that again because I've lost track of how long I've recorded. I mean, I know, but with, again, the skipping of the fights, it gets somewhat hard. And it's like 1 a.m. and I'm very tired. Sorry, everyone. Uh, next week, the waves too. We're, we're making steady progress. If there really is only like 36 stages, with the 36 being the dungeon, thank you for mentioning that. I forgot about this mechanic altogether. Um, then uh, I will be through this in, in like a month and a half, I think. Which is, I know for some of you, it, you, you're gonna consider it slow, but for me, it's a good pace, I think. Like, this is definitely better pacing than what we had in chapter 4. And I, I do welcome that. It, it it feels nice now. It feels really nice. Once we set off from the port, the port dragged on a little bit too long with like the pirates. But fighting these otherworldly creatures, that's what I expected out of this chapter. That's what I hoped out of it. Um, seeing the actual reason for um, Ishmael's mental health. Let's call it that. Bye, everyone.